Always said that travel broadens the mind. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Look who's back. Ready to redeem yourself? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Let's go. Find the one. Incessant. Right. It's free go. Come on, super fight. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Mostly luck, that's all. Please, you wouldn't have got this far on luck alone. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it! You are a duelist to be reckoned with! 
Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. You can't be beat, can you? Lost to a new student? Hmm, I didn't see that coming. The best duelist won, I suppose. Revelio. Rebellion. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Send you.
Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair, and you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but... Perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've mostly been included. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? There's a thief on the loose by the name of Katrin Haggerty. She's an Ashwinder. 
She's stealing everything that's not nailed down, and people have had enough. Catherine's hiding in a camp just southwest of town. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My price is low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. I hope to see you again sometime. Wonder who lives here. Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home, especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, Mummy. They're beautiful, these horses with wings. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Now, why don't you do some more drawings for me, hmm? Very well, Mummy. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. I can beat you for some assistance. 
Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. Turned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is.
I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me, and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my carts. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn.
Revelio. Past the ruins, I'm on the right track. way to enter. Arn will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. Should have killed that traitor, Arn, when we took his car. You are there. One less human to worry about. Always my turn for patrol.
pawn. Hmm. Not a thing at all, huh? Cards. Incendio. Revelio. Uh. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm.
Revelio. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Revelio. You're here for my wares. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares.
Revelio. It's like a place right out of. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. See you again sometime. Revelio. Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio.
Revelio. They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil! Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! Incendium. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Do you really take us? We can hold them off. I will go anywhere with you. You take this student over my dead body. <laughs> What's the matter? What's just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? 
These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent.
This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Revelio. Incendio. Levioso. Incendium. Accio. Levioso. Lumos. Conjuring fire might work. These are pyres after all. Incendium. The flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Incendium! Hardly believe it. Revelio. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Revelio. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long-lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it.
This looks intriguing. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Lumos. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Here's a pleasant surprise. I should investigate.
Revelion. <laughs> Incendio Repairo Revelio. Repairo. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Revelio. Repairo. Rebellion.
Revelio. your ways. Repairer. Incendio. Accio. Levioso.
Let me show. Akio. Incendio. Akio. Incendio. Revelio. Repair.
Akio. Incendio. Rebellio. Incendio.
here. Incendio! Let me open. Incendio. Huh! <laughs> 
Off on another adventure, are we? Professor, I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House, like you. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although... We got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom Applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Surely you could continue searching the Owlery? Oh, one would think. However, the Headmaster does not take kindly to an old wandmaker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh yes, it's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts. Always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand-making is. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old wand-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Well, aren't you? That was a mistake, my friend. I've seen you, Jewel. Your strategies won't work on me. Rebellion.
Revelio. You let Nora Treadwell go, didn't you? You're about to wish you hadn't. I should warn you, I won't make the same mistakes my colleagues have made. Prepare. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Revelio. Time is all I was saying. Eldritch Diggory thought he could fix us, Caban. I dream of making <laughs> what a better joke. world. There's nothing the Ministry could do to repair the damage they've done. The Ministry ought to loosen the reins on the Dark Arts. And when did I set my traps? Is it lower or upper Hogsfield? Now, where did I set my traps? Was it lower Hogsfield or upper Hogsfield? Except You're the little Let son you that saved Treadwell. No. I'll bet that one hurt. Reduction! Incendio! Let's drop a phone for base! Reduction! Reduction! Did I hurt you? Confringo! How did that feel? Reduction! 
Rebellion. One less poacher in the wizarding world. See what's up your sleeve vest.
Me to put you out of your misery. Oh, I'm tired of wasting my time on a foolish decision. Robert. We've lost precious opportunities now. Opportunities that could have brought spoils to our hands, but now they've fallen to the wayside on account of feeble thinking. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts.
I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Don't mind me, owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? Revelio! I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Accio. <laughs> Nothing. No statues here. This'll do nicely. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. All statues of jackdaws. Ah, here's a welcome surprise. Accio! I'd best keep looking. aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Yeah. Revelio! Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Accio! Nothing. <sighs> no statues here. I'll take that, thank you. I 
you'd best keep looking. Something nicely? Nothing. No statues here. Accio! Best keep looking. <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> Here's a welcome surprise. Revelio. What's happening? Could it be? Someone solved my puzzle after all these years. Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity. But yes, why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was, so I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Revelio.
How nice to see you, my young friend. To take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Akio! Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick. Levius! Practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Incendio! Levioso! Expelliarmus! Still at it, I see. Professor, what can you tell me about your work at the Ministry? Your curiosity is understandable. Well, although I can't speak in any detail of my work, I can tell you certain interesting facts. Unspeakables work in the Ministry's Department of Mysteries. Dangerous work at times, as you've no doubt guessed. Yes, Professor. Now, you needn't concern yourself with my injury. I made peace long ago with the fact that a sprig of Dittany, once plucked, will surely begin to wilt. You do seem to have come to terms with things rather well. It's a matter of perspective. Without saying more, Perhaps whatever time I've lost was an exchange for time gained, and to dwell on such matters is a waste of the days ahead. At this point, no magic permits us to travel back in time. Perhaps one day. Yes, I can tell you that my years at the Ministry were well spent, and I'm as happy to be at Hogwarts now as I was to be in the Department of Mysteries years ago. If I may, Professor, I'm also happy that you're here at Hogwarts now. Kind of you to say. Speaking of time, perhaps yours would be best spent honing your defensive wand work. <laughs> yes, Professor. Expelliarmus! I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Akio. Incendio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Well, Madam Kigawa, 
artists. Let us begin. Revelio. Revelio. Medleys will always look upon you as a trusted ally and friend. The Pinch Smedleys will always look upon you as a trusted ally and friend. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Revelio. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. Accio. Accio.
nothing to it. I've seen worse. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. Wait, did I win? I won! <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Another time, perhaps. Can't say I blame you. Perhaps come back when you're a bit more prepared to beat someone of my skill. What are you up to now?
Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Rebellion. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Rebellion. Something oddly solemn about this place. 
Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But uh... No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora has led me. I wonder how big this place is. Incendio! Someone didn't want cattle visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this.
stupefied. Another puzzle. But if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Incendio! Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Revelio. Incendio. Expelliant. Incendio. Touched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Incendio. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Yeah. 
Attack here! I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Send you. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? I thought Jackdaw would have been interested. There's no sign of him.
Revelio. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well. this. Touched chest. Teratol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. It is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. He's calm to what the head is with a giant. Protego! Stupid spot! Stupid spot! Incendium! Expelliarmus!
Farewell, monster. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Must be getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. There's Jack Daw looking dead as ever. What happened here? Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jack Daw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Rebellion. I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Where am I? 
Revelio. Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Rebellion. Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and... Might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Rebellion. That's it.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Why can't students see that?
vision. I once turned my pet rabbit into a candlestick. Mother was furious when she set the table in a hot way. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellio. Revelio. Accio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. Accio. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see? Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading Incendio. my- Incendio! to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Lumos. I'm sorry, I'm sorry.
Revelio. Hello, Zenobia. What did you need help with? I need someone to collect my gobstones that have been hidden in very high places all over the school. I'd better keep an eye. around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Could you remind me how the Dedalia... When you spot... I hope you follow, sir. What you did in Cross Wands was fantastic. Your dueling skills...
Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Sir, we've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir, we'd never take more than those. You just wait till I see your mother. Revelio. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. 
It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Revelio. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Excellent.
Merlin trial when I see one. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Lumos. Repairer. Accio. Levioso. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Accio. Lumos. So tricky after all, Merlin. Revelio. Repair room. Incendio. Oh, she wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Well, well. Look 
what we have here. Rebellion. Rebellion. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Rebellion. Won't miss that encampment of Ramrock's loyalists.
These rocks have seen better days. Revelio. Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in well, one piece. This'll take some getting used to. Ah, ah, 
I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> This is rather fun. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> ha! Good. I've got this. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clockton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the garden, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And Meowlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. 
You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Iris took a Snargluff pod for a puffer pod the other day in Herbology. Won't be making that mistake again anytime soon. I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been too lost about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Spintwitches has opened in Hogsmeade. All the latest brooms I hear. Not that I need one. The broom I have at home is the corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. I wish I could afford my own broom, instead of using my brother's hand-me-downs. If I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Spintwitches, I'd be on it now! Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class... No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Ravenclaw should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Let's be sure we make some time to study later then. Revelio! Rebellion. Revelio. Incendio.
Rebellion. Child, you have any idea how many muggles the ministry had to afflict? Revelio. You know, it does help to look at the thing while you're stirring. Everybody knows you're in remedial motion. In my blood, my mother 
is so intimidating. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Well done. 
I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Black is without a doubt the worst headmaster in the history of Hogwarts. He's not behind us. 